Welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be doing tutorial on how I made the You Are Loved logo. Once we have a blank document, now we're going to go ahead and get our words. So you do that by going to this T right here, to the type tool, or you can press T on your keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and type out, let's go ahead and fix the size. You are loved. Let's actually capitalize all this. All right, so now that we have our three words, what we're gonna do is select them all and go ahead and move it to the back. Send to the back. Now we're gonna get our shape. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to the tools and where it says rectangle tool, we're gonna hold it down and go to the ellipse or you can click L on your keyboard. Now you can either make your circle and just drag it out like this, but if you want a perfect circle, hold down shift and then drag it out and it'll give you a perfect circle every time. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the knife tool while the circle is selected. You can do that by going to the eraser tool and then go to knife. And now we're gonna cut through it all the way. And now we're gonna make one more cut. And now that we've got that, we're just gonna pull it apart so we can see where everything is. Again, let's make sure this is arranged to the back. So once that's done, we're gonna go, oh, almost forgot. Let's go ahead and change the font. And I'm gonna show you guys the one that I always use in my videos cause you guys love that one. And it's a cute font, I can't lie. So it says, you are loved. Let's go ahead and change the color to, let's see, which one do I always do? I have a specific purple I always use. Yes, this one. And now we're gonna do the same. If you want the same color, you can click I on your keyboard and then click the color you want. Boom, it'll just change. Okay, so after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and drag the words behind the shape. Let's do that for all of them. And now we're gonna select the first portion, go to object up here, envelope distort, and then make with top object. Now we're just gonna repeat that process until you've gotten it all done. Make with top object. Boom, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put this right here, make it a little bigger. Now we're gonna group it all together, so make sure you have it all selected. You can either go to select and then go select all, or you can just do this. And then we're gonna go to object, group. After you grouped it together, we're gonna go to windows, Go to 3D and materials, go to object over here, make sure all this is selected. And now we're gonna go to inflate. Let's wait for that to load. Okay. And then we're just gonna leave all the presets up here alone. We're gonna go ahead and go down to rotation. I usually change this one to nine. So the X axis nine and then the Y axis negative nine. And now we're gonna go to materials and this is the important part. So you're gonna go all the way down, roughness all the way down, put it all the way down. And now we're gonna go to lighting and you can mess which one that you like the best. Again, this is just how I made this specific thing. And so, I'm gonna go with standard. I'm gonna go ahead and click shadows so I can get that effect. And lastly, we're gonna go to render with ray tracing. Boom, there we go. Here's the final product, just like y'all asked for. You are loved. Yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new or got a uh, some assurance on how to do it more properly if you kept getting errors coming up. So yeah.
stay tuned for the next video and comment down what y'all want to see.